the angle between two crystallographic directions in a cubic system. Consider two crystallographic directions H1, K1, L1 and H2, K2, L2 in a cubic crystal. Find the angle theta between the two directions in terms of the Miller indices H1, H2, K1, K2, L1 and L2. So here I have two uh, vectors pointing in these directions in H1, K1, L1 and H2, K2, L2 directions. So what I'm going to do is define a unit vector along these directions. So let's define a hat to be a unit vector in H1, K1, L1 direction and also I will define B hat a unit vector in H2, K2, L2 direction. So for example uh, we can show it here this is a unit vector a hat pointing in this direction and this is a unit vector b hat pointing in this direction. So the question of uh, finding the angle between the two directions is basically finding the angle between these two unit vectors. Then if I take the dot product between these two unit vectors, I, I will be able to find the angle uh, using the cosine uh, theta. So what is this unit vector h hat, uh, a hat? It's basically uh, pointing in the direction h1 i hat k1 j hat l1 k hat because it's a unit vector I have to take the magnitude and divide it by the magnitude so it's going to be square root of h1 square plus k1 square plus l1 square and similarly my b hat unit vector will be h2 i hat plus k2 j hat plus l2 k hat divided by square root of h2 square plus k2 square plus l2 square. Now I want to take the dot product between these two unit vectors a hat dot b hat its magnitude of a hat times magnitude of b hat times cosine of the angle between them so that is just cosine theta because the magnitudes are one these are unit vectors. So this will be uh, now using the components here uh, h1 h2 i hat dot i hat so that will give me h1 h2 uh, h1 i hat k2 j hat and uh, i hat dot j hat is uh, zero they are perpendicular cosine 90 uh, similarly for i hat dot k hat uh, so i hat is along x-axis, j hat is the unit vector along y-axis and k hat along z-axis. Uh, and then for the uh, j hat component I will have only k1, k2 because uh, the others will give me 0 and for the k hat component I will have l1, l2. So this will be uh, the top and for the bottom I'm going to have a uh, square root of so I'm going to have a square root of h1 square plus k1 square plus l1 square multiplied with h2 square plus k2 square plus l2 square. So uh, this is basically cosine of the angle uh, between them. Therefore I can write uh, the angle theta between the two uh, vectors to be a cosine inverse or arc cosine of h1 
H1, H2, K1, K2 plus L1, L2 divided by H1 square plus K1 square plus L1 square uh, H2 square plus K2 square plus L2 square and then I take the square root. So this is going to be my answer. As you can see the angle is given in terms of the Miller indices H1, H2, K1, K2, L1, L2. Okay, so what have we done here? Uh, we've looked at these two directions H1, K1, L1 and H2, K2, L2. We defined the unit vector pointing in these directions. Uh, so this unit vector can be in this direction can be written as h1 i hat plus k1 j hat l1 plus l1 k hat. Uh, so i hat, j hat, k hat are unit vectors in positive x, positive y, and positive z directions respectively. So that's what I have. And since a hat is a unit vector, I have to divide it by the magnitude of this vector pointing in this direction. So it's square root of h1 square plus k1 square plus l1 square. That's the magnitude. So that it has a magnitude of 1. And I do the same thing for b hat. Then I take the dot product between the two. Uh, I know that uh, i hat dot i hat is 1 i hat dot j hat is i hat dot k hat is zero and j hat dot k hat is zero. So um, basically using this property of the unit vectors uh, that are orthogonal to each other in the Cartesian coordinate system, uh, because I'm using a cubic system, I can use this Cartesian coordinate system. Uh, so it's going to be um, the dot product will give me h1, h2 plus k1, k2 plus l1, l2 divided by square root of the product of h1 square plus k1 square plus l1 square and h2 square plus k2 square plus l2 square. So all that remains is to take cosine inverse of this result to get the angle between the two directions.